Mm -hmm. I met a top neurosurgeon, uh, Dr. Brown, uh, in, uh, in the US, and he said that uh, uh, our bodies are now living longer, but our mind is sort of fading away at 80, 90 years of age. And he said in 20, 30, 40 years' time, this is about four years ago, uh, we will be physically strong, but our minds won't be there. After reading your work, I found it extremely encouraging that the mind can remain sharp and can be extended and memories can connect. Uh, my mother is, is, is in the first stages of dementia and, uh, and hope, and then they're saying potentially Alzheimer's. Now, would those memories start coming back? Would we be able to create something that actually extends life of, for humanity as opposed to just being a physical robotic vegetable? Well, let's talk a little bit about biological immortality as it affects the brain and the human body. Where does aging take place in a car? Cars age, but where does aging take place in a car? It's the engine. Yeah. Why? You have moving parts yeah. and you have combustion. Yeah. Now, a cell is like a car. Where do we have moving parts? Where do we have combustion inside the cell? Mm -hmm. The mitochondria, bingo. <laughs> We now know more or less where aging takes place and that is at the cellular level. Mm -hmm. So we now know more or less what aging is. Aging is the buildup of error. Error at the genetic level, error at the cellular level. But now we have CRISPR technology, mm -hmm. the ability to edit, edit almost like we edit uh, manuscripts, yeah. edit DNA, cutting it and splicing it at certain points and maybe we'll be able to eliminate some of the mistakes that build up in the mitochondria of, of the cell. That may give us a handle on immortality.